everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dance Talk Realness, a podcast where we discuss all nuances concerning education and dance, because the dance experience is an experience worth talking about. I'm your host, Truly B, and I'm here with my awesome, as always, co-host, Daryl P. Hi. And today, we're going to be talking about our pet peeves of working with other artists. Today's... <laughs> <laughs> Today's a petty type of day. It's all right. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be one of our quick ones, guys. So this is not going to turn into an episode of We Not Messy. We just saying. Okay. But. <laughs> However. <laughs> transparency. <laughs> 100% feel all of these in my spirit. So I have three. Okay that I was like, okay, if I had to just tell someone straight up, okay, look, don't do this because it's going to piss me off and we're not going to have a great working relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, The first thing is your word. You should be able to stand by it. If you say you can do or that you will do, I'm going to need you to be able to and I'm going to need you to do. Like, do not say oh yeah, you know, I got it. I'll make sure I do this, this, and this. Don't worry about it. And then the next thing I know, I am not worried about it because this, this, and this did not get done. Mm -hmm. And now I'm trying to figure out how I can pick up the slack so as not to have myself out here looking crazy, so as to not have the brand out here looking crazy Mm -hmm. um, when it's dealing with school programs to not have the program looking crazy because Mm -hmm. I don't like having trash attached to my name. Right. I have said that out loud in public and I've said it on here. I don't like it. I was like, no, I've built a reputation solidly. I would like to maintain it and not lose it because somebody else couldn't uphold their end. Mm -hmm. Um, You can tell I, I, this is a recent experience in my life Mm -hmm. by the tone of my voice. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And not just one, not just one. We're talking like uh, two to three. Right. Too definite that three's a possible. I'm still waiting to see how that shakes out. But right. two, I'm just like, yo, your word is trash. Like, why do you like this? But yeah, I digress. I digress. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my second one is be on time. We all got stuff to do. Like, what? Like, yeah, I, know, I am. I'm really bad about that. Look at you. <laughs> look, I was about to say, like, let me talk about you real quick. <laughs> I'm, I will I'm, say. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> but what I will give you, and this is my, I guess you could say this is my caveat to it, mm-hmm. is that if you are at least communicative mm-hmm. and you're like, hey, something came up or, okay, I'm dealing with something. I'm going to be there in like five minutes. Okay, I can handle that. But to just smooth, not show, Mm -hmm. or you show up, oh, I almost said something real wild, (laughs) wild for how we normally be talking. It was about to be real out of pocket. But (laughs) you show up 10, 15, 20 minutes late and then got the damn audacity to not apologize, not at least try to explain. Because yes, at that point, I'm like, it's it's no longer a reason it is now an excuse mm-hmm. because the shit doesn't happen i can't get that time back but right. you're gonna come in and act like ain't nothing happened and like i should be thankful for your presence if you don't get the fuck out of here with that mm-hmm. foolishness like right. so it's like just respect time um and again because daryl admits it he know <laughs> right. yeah he, know, he, know, know. he knows his testimony mm-hmm. but yeah i can say that if you see a conflict in advance you will say like okay wait a minute yeah i know i said we was gonna do this but (laughs) this just happened right uh can we can we shift right right and the thing about that too is like always like can't like coming with like if i know i'm i'm messing up the plans let me also before i tell you that i'm about to mess up the plans let me also have a solution to throw out there so that way at least, so that way at least you're not like okay well what are we going to do it's like no no here's here's what i have figured out does it work with you it doesn't okay well then let's both figure out something else so Thank that you. way we know it can still happen i that, that's also <laughs> part of my testimony because i yes, know i'm just is. like okay 
I know I, I, I messed up these plans, but let me figure out how, how I can make the plans, <laughs> readjust the plans. Exactly. And that, so that's why, first of all, this is why Daryl is my co-host. Y'all. <laughs> this is why I love him. <laughs> Cause I knew this about him beforehand. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't news to me. Right, right, I was like, right. but I also knew about him that if he has to shift the plan because something came up for him, then he's going to figure out a solution. So he's right. not just coming to me like, oh, oh shit, this other meeting ran over. Ah, yikes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like he comes with a, okay, this is running over. Can we push back 30 minutes? Yeah. Or, okay, I have an opening tomorrow at three does that work for you yeah like because we can do three or if that doesn't work then what about this like he comes with plan b c d e f g until we find something that works so for y'all that just be out here (laughs) wasting people's time (laughs) and not coming with solutions right i'm talking about you (laughs) you are who i am addressing it is you yeah it's yourself because that is so disrespectful. It's like, it, it's, it's essentially saying to that person, your time doesn't matter. Right. Just mine does. And it's like, none of us can get time back. Mm-mm. So it is, my time is equally as important as anyone else's. And if we have an agreement to share time, then hold up your end of that agreement. Mm-hmm. Um. Yes, again, as you can tell by the tone of my voice. That has happened recently. <laughs> it's recent. <laughs> I am. It's been a rough go as of late. <laughs> All right, so my third is trust me to do the job or don't mm-hmm. ask me to do it. Mm-hmm. It confuses me. And this, again, recent. <laughs> Can we, can, let's just talk about the whole purpose of this is I'm doing everything in my power to not be messy. So this was my alternative. So if you ask me to do something or you hire me to do something, that one is the one that really confuses mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. You, you hire me to do it. You're going to pay me to do it. But then you want to micromanage or mm-hmm. you don't want to trust my thoughts on it. You mm-hmm. Mm-hmm do it your damn self like why (laughs) why Mm -hmm. or at least if it's going to be like that then part of that bringing me on process needs to be clarifying the fact that okay I'm bringing you in to do xyz in this specific way Mm -hmm. I don't I'm not I'm not bringing you in to creatively think I'm not bringing you in to problem solve. I just want you to take this thing off my plate, Mm -hmm. but do it the way I want it. Right. And now if we, if we enter into that, then that's a completely different situation (laughs) because Mm -hmm. it's clearly stated there, there's an understanding there, Mm -hmm. but what I'm talking about, (laughs) don't say I have a say in something. And I really don't Mm -hmm. like for what, why, why, why are you wasting my time, my energy, my emotional capacity, mental capacity, should at some point spiritual capacity, Mm -hmm. like, why are you wasting all of these things? It either could have been very easily clarified that you don't want me to contribute anything. You just want me to follow instructions which fine, I hate doing it, but if that's the job, that's the job. Mm -hmm. But don't say that that opening is there and it really is not. Mm -hmm. And like, I get, it's hard to give up control. I get that. I've been in that situation many a time, um, particularly when working like on choreography, Mm -hmm. where it's like, yo, but I actually need someone to like help finish this. But if I ask you to help me finish it, I also cannot say, well, I don't really like that. Could you do this? Or could you put this here? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then instead of doing that, do this. Because at that point now, I'm I'm doing it. Right. <laughs> and it's like, so what the, why are you here then? Right. Like, again, right. if the agreement was, okay, I have this piece. I just want you to clean. Mm-hmm. Don't you add nothing. Don't worry about that. 
I got it. Mm-hmm. I just want you to clean, make sure don't nobody die. That's all I need. That's one thing. But if I offer up to you, okay, I want you to choreograph this movement. Mm-hmm. Then I need to trust that you are capable. I need to trust my own decision of bringing you on to the project. Mm-hmm. Like there's just that lack of trust. I'm like, if you don't trust me enough to do it, then which, why, why do you want me here? Because I could right. be elsewhere and exactly. you could be working with somebody else. And it could just be better <laughs> all around for everybody. So those are my pet peeves. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm in my feelings right now. <laughs> and, to, and to go off of that, too, like one thing that I think working with other artists, too, is like, you know, I think a lot of artists feel, and I guess it depends on like your comfort level with them and how close you are, but the ones that want to give their opinion when you didn't ask for it, and it's like... I didn't ask you. (laughs) That was not a question I had. I didn't have that question. I didn't want any help with that. I didn't want an opinion on that. But thanks, I guess. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate it. I appreciate that. No, I don't know. Um, Yeah, and like... Oh... You know, and I think too, like, kind of like what you said at the beginning, um, your first one, there's just people that just don't, I I don't know, it's just people just don't come with the same energy sometimes and passion Mm -hmm. for like the stuff that they do that you have that we have about like, the things that we want to do. And so it's frustrating when Like, I've had people who, like, I've hired to, like, maybe do some, like, recordings of, like, shows or, like, take pictures and stuff. And, like, really, this is, like, this is the, the, the these are the videos that you're going to submit to me. These are the, the pictures you decided mm. to take for me. Like, that just wasn't, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> It's like that. That was what you were gonna. That's what you're gonna. That's what. That's what you're gonna produce. Like, I just feel like I want every artist to have like the same. Like, if you don't have passion for the art that you're doing, don't do it. Like that part. Point blank. Like, I feel like we're in a profession that like it's 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 never going to be. There's never. No one's ever gonna pay you enough money to do it. Mm -hmm. Um. It's, it's work, right? So even though it's something that like is, you know, it comes from your heart and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, you know, something you've done forever, it's still work. Like I need you to put in the work. Mm-hmm. That, <laughs> please. And thank you. Yeah. I, I, and I need you to, I need it to be work, right? And I need it to be quality. Um, and I think that those two things, at least for me, are like the things that I'm just like, I, it's interesting when I work with other artists that don't have that same type of mentality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, a hundred percent like that. <laughs> it's like, if you don't really love this, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Like it, that, that seems dumb. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause like you said, like it's ve- extremely rare for it to really pay good enough to be miserable. Right. And then it's like, you know, you don't have to bring your misery to someone else. Like, I know your misery may want company, but I don't want to be company to that. Like, Mm -mm. I love what I do. Right. (laughs) I'm like, as much work as it can be, as stressful as it can be, I still love it. Right. I'm going to need you to bring that energy. Yeah. And it's, and even for like, as K through 12, as a K through 12 teacher, like, and even for, you know, post-secondary, right? Like if you come with that kind of energy to your students mm. and your students see like, well, you have a job doing it and you kind of half-ass do it. Like, I guess maybe that's the thing, right? And it's, yep. 
it doesn't really set them up for greatness if you as a role model is doing a half ass job. True. Very true. Yeah. Like it very much the leading by example. Mm-hmm. And because those would be some of the same folks who'll be complaining that their students aren't connecting to stuff. And it's like, I wonder why. Right. <laughs> I'm like, well, shit, you're not really connected to it. And so that's the example they're seeing. And mm. so unless, even if they do have that drive, that can have a negative impact mm-hmm. on their perception of it. Or if nothing else, at least their perception of how to operate within the field. Right. Exactly. And it's, oh my gosh. And when, yeah, no, I've had people see the video and I'm like, really? I'm like, baby, I could have did this and I'm horrible at this. Like, what are you? Right. <laughs> it's like, why would you, why'd you turn that in? Yeah. With photos. I'm like, I could have done that. Yeah. And I could have done that with my phone. And I am yeah. confused that you are just out here and this is the life that you chose to lead. And you could have, you could have done something else with your life right. and time and not interfere with me. Right. Um, I've especially had it happen with musicians. Mm. Let me tell you. Let me just take a moment. Let me <laughs> let me take a moment. Pause for the cause. Right. Musicians be on some shit. <laughs> and I be like, yo, I think I might hate y'all. Love you. Been a musician my whole life. Hate them. Yeah. Because like the and not saying I've never had difficulties with others, because again photographers, videographers, um, mm. visual artists. I've had some weird interactions there. Yeah. Um, theater people. Mm-hmm. Weird interactions there. Yeah. Musicians, though. There is, and this is a very general blanket statement, so I'm not talking about every musician, but also there is a chip on the shoulder with music mm-hmm. that I I get it in the sense of yes all the arts be on that chopping block like it be all of us mm-hmm. but the one most likely to survive is music mm-hmm. like, especially when we're talking about arts in the schools right you are more than likely going to cut pretty much everything else before you cut music um, visual art stands a pretty good chance they stand a pretty good chance. But music, you have to have done something real wild for them to cut the music program. Like something really hit the fan. And so I get it. They are seen as less expendable. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's this chip. Pretty much every musician I've ever known. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> so maybe there's some out there that I just haven't run across that don't have it. That's cool. All the ones I know. Um, me being one of them at some point. Mm-hmm. That very much is just like, well, you're welcome for me showing up and doing this. You know what? Perfect example was in a, mm, this mm, too much, too much. Because <laughs> I'd be like, mm, but I work there. I'm going to say it. I don't care. You don't pay my bills. So I was in a meeting and a music person Mm -hmm. 100% said something along the lines of how dance couldn't happen without music. So now during this meeting, my camera was off because I was doing other things. Mm -hmm. Um, And I didn't want my background to be a distraction because I was moving about. Let me tell you how quick I cut that camera on. And the face I made with the camera on, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> May have actually said the fuck. And then I kindly cut the camera back off. Cause I was like, I just need, I just, excuse me. And I'm like, oh no, no, no. I was like, see, but we don't need you. Mm-mm. We, we are very self-sufficient. Like we love to have, you do not need you. Right. As m- one of my high school directors used to say to us all the time. That used to be so offensive. And then as I got older, I understood it. That it was like, yes, would it 
would it be great to have live mu musicians every time we have class or a performance? That would be awesome. However, bet you I can do it without you. I don't need you. Mm -hmm. Would love to have you. Do not need you. Um, yeah. Same, same with pretty much everyone. And that's not to say that everyone's not important in their own way and that there's not a benefit because there is a benefit. That's why we would love to have you. But please do not ever misconstrue that as we can't function without you. Right. There's a word in there for people um, also outside of the arts. That's mm -hmm. a relationship word. Look, I'm on one today right. <laughs> <laughs> because that love to have you do not need you mm -hmm. hits on many a level, right? Many a level um, that can go for spouses, that can go for students, mm -hmm. that can go to their parents, that can go to administration. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's that. Rated E for everyone. Please understand. <laughs> Love to have you. Do right. not need you is real. It it is. Will it make my life easier potentially in some of those cases? Like you know, like yes, like students. Yes, it makes my life easier to have bodies in the room because then my numbers look good and people will leave me alone. Mm -hmm. However, I can make a lot happen with just a few. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. No. I've done it before. I could do it again. Not an issue. Um, I've made wonderful things happen with very supportive administration. Loved it. I've also made wonderful things happen with shitty administration. Mm -hmm. Love to have the support. Mm -hmm. I don't need it to do what I need to do. Right. So it's I'm like equal opportunity. Same with parent support. I've done many, majority of my time has been spent without supportive parents. Right. Majority of my time. I'd be like, man, look, I'm just, I'm teaching your child. I ain't got time for you. Right. <laughs> so, and then folks who live in my house, it'd be like, mm, just in case you're not clear. Right. I can do things <laughs> by myself. <laughs> I be trying not to. <laughs> but also we can keep that energy right and be like oh need is a strong word <laughs> it's strong right it may make things easier <clears throat> but, do but not. also i can do without i can do it yeah do not need do not mm -mm. Mm -mm. that might be the title of this one i don't know I it might be. i'm trying to figure out is this a spider or a <laughs> Jesus, hold on. Wait. Okay, God, I don't understand. Oh God, it was a spider. Okay, yeah, no, I had to kill that. Oh my God, I killed it with my hand. That was gross. Okay. Uh -oh. I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> it has been a day. <laughs> it has been a day, week, month, year. It's just been a lot. But yeah. Okay. I needed that. I feel better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for humoring me. <laughs> Do you have any additional um, things to add to that list? That's it. That's all. I think that was a pretty, pretty yeah. solid. Yeah. Pretty solid. Yeah. It was like yeah. if it if it applies to any of our listeners, fix yourself. Like, do yeah. better. <laughs> do better. Like, please. Like, I it it'll, it'll make your life easier to do better. Right. Because more people will want to do things with and for you because they'll know that you actually will do the same for them. And so it just, everyone would benefit. Everyone will benefit. All right. Yeah. So told y'all this was going to be a short one. Y'all had to get that one out. <laughs> <It's> like, but <laughs> Thank you for joining us yet again here at Dance Talk Realness. It was a little bit real today, but it's fine. It's fine. So why we're that's that's why that's in the name. Um, please be sure to drop us a line if you have any questions, comments, observations, anything you want us to cover, any follow-up questions. 
Um, and be sure to like, comment, follow, and subscribe across all the places where you can find us. We look forward to bringing you some fresh new content next week. We'll see you then. Bye.